Hey everyone, what's up? I'm Strupiel and that's the Lava Isle 3. But today I won't be playing on my account, that's the Sulman19. Hey, thank you bro for letting me record that video. That's already the high end stage of the game that I cannot achieve on my own account. So, thanks to him I can record that video. Okay, so today I will tell you what you have to do to win the Lava Isle 3, the successful runs. And I will show you multiple runs to prove that this strategy is working. So first, we are, we all, all of the players are starting in the right corner. That's important because that certain demon in the right corner is using shield that is preventing him from getting any damage and that's the most important boss, the most important ice demon, uh, I mean the most important demon. So he's the main target for all of the players and you need to use certain heroes and certain crest talents to win Lava Isle 3. First thing you could see at the bottom I have two crossed heroes, my spirit mage and ice demon, but they got revived by Trentor. That's also a really helpful hero that is in some case reviving your heroes so he's some kind of a backup for all of your heroes in team. Okay, what are the other heroes? The other heroes, well of course Pumpkin Nuke, Cupid are the main heroes, very important, some healers, uh, spirit, spirit match for the DPS and uh, attacking all of the other bosses and he demons, uh, all other obstacles, uh, objects, buildings, heroes, everything. And uh, well, the main heroes, Arctica, really important hero. Even if somehow the Ice Demon gets the shield, Arctica is instantly removing it. That's very important. And to prevent the Demon from getting that shield, from proking, you need to use a lot of Scatter Heroes. That's right. And these are the three main things you need to do to win the Lava Isle 3. Of course you need very strong heroes, that's right. Strong heroes are a must-have for Lava Isle 3. Well, they should be evolved. But you can somehow manage to win Lava L3 without evolved heroes, well with a bit of luck, but having evolved heroes is also a big factor in increasing the winning chance. Okay, so for now you can see beating Lava Isle 3 with almost 30 seconds left. That's a lot of time and it's not uh, any like, anything like 10 seconds, 5 seconds where and there's a big factor of luck. But th it's still a bunch of time so we can f you can feel safe. Even if you lose a few heroes, that's going to be not a big deal. And from now you can see the other successful runs one after the another so they are not just picked. No, these are not picked only victorious runs, these all are one after the another. So that proves that this strategy works perfect. Now we can enjoy the video and watch the other runs of the Lava Isle 3. Let me know what you think about this strategy. I'm sure most of the top players are using the same strategy because that's simply the best. I haven't seen any other strategy than that. There might be some, but this seems to be simply the best. Thanks everyone for watching. Enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment.